Hey, hey, everybody, we have a map, we have a map. So let's talk to that man, the ranger, Ranger Shanahan. Oh, Ranger Shanahan, you don't want to talk to me. Well, I've got this mountain. I've got this mountain here. What if I use the awesome map on the mountain? Maybe? No, it looks like the only thing I can do with the map is look at it. Oh, this location seems significant. I better check it out. Okay, what's what's the significant location on the map, though? Is it here? Here, actually, huh? Underneath the uh, underneath the mountain. Okay, okay then. Well then, let's go there, check it out. Starting point on the map is this way. What do I do if I find something? I can't dig with my bare hands. She's got a point. Okay, so we can't find any sort of treasure. We're gonna have to find, I don't know, a shovel somewhere? Where on earth can we find a shovel? I, I can't dig with an anchor. There's nothing here around the anchor, correct? Yeah, the anchor has nothing. Well, perhaps we can ask uh, one of the characters for a shovel. Or maybe we'll be able to find a shovel here in this house. I find this house super suspicious. Maybe I could just bring the anchor over here and drop it on the house. Um, no, no, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Wait, is this a shovel just lying around? Well, hey, hey. Well, that's good. That's good. Okay, so laid anchor, ascended the hill, compass, saber, wind howling. I think we've got everything we need, right? So, uh, she last laid anchor over here on the beach. We're going towards the hill. Oh, I'm not going out without a headlamp. It's getting dark soon. Okay, well, then where am I gonna get a headlamp? Well, darn, darn, I thought we were just about ready to solve this puzzle. Let's see, is there any lamp here? None of these things look like lamps. Do you, do you have a lamp for me? Hmm. This mysterious George person, you know, I, I, I wonder if we're ever going to see him or if he's just going to stay hidden inside his little place forever. Okay, you have nothing for me, Mr. McCool. Let's go back to the inn. Maybe they have lamps there. I don't know why an inn would be hanging out with lamps. I don't know. This this innkeeper is kind of creepy. She's still creeping me out all the time. So maybe maybe she just hangs out and has lamps. I don't know. Well, darn. Let's talk to the ranger who is not here. Sligo County Park Service permit valid for daytime use only. A key. Ah! I think I know what this key is for. Can I steal the key? Give me that key, please. I just want to take it. There we go, okay. The key has to be for this thing here, which is, is locked, right? So let me grab the key. It's the silver key. Yes. What the? Hello, Amelia? Are you Amelia Goldstone, the missing person? Yes, who are you? I'm Marcella Moon. Oscar sent me to look for you. Are you all right? Yes, I'm okay, but thank goodness you found me. Things were beginning to look bad. How'd you end up here? I found an anchor on the beach a few days ago. I thought I should turn it in. It was etched with lots of symbols. It looked like it might be of historical value. It's too heavy, so I went to the ranger station to see if he could help me bring it back to town. Instead, he locked me down here because he thinks it's the anchor in the riddle. That's exactly what I was thinking, too. He thinks I can solve the rest of the riddle. That may or may not be the case. There's no way I'm going to help him. If the treasure exists, it belongs to the country, not a kidnapping treasure thief. I can't believe it. Ranger Shanahan is the culprit? So I guess the ranger is the one who's been blackmailing me. He told me to find the treasure. He wasn't going to let you go. I should know where it might be. I was going to go look for it, in fact. Really? Well then, maybe you should find it. We can't let him get to it. He plans to smuggle it across the border and sell it, and we can't let that happen. 
But I'm here to make sure you're safe. And now that I found you, I'll be fine. I'll lie low for a while, but I'm le not leaving Sligo until we figure this out. Please, this is important to me. All right. Here, take this. It might help you, help you search. Come find me at the pub when you get back. Let's get you out of here. Yay! We found her! And now uh, we get to find that treasure. What did she give me? A shovel? A headlamp! Exactly what I needed. Like, exactly what I needed. Okay, so let's go. The starting point on the map. We're following it. Ooh, it's so creepy! I love it. No. Oh, which way do I go, right or left? I don't know. Well, that didn't work. We'll try again. Left. Here we go. You have to follow the, the wind, I suppose. I think wind is coming from the right. That didn't work. Well, I could always do this the old-fashioned way. <laughs> left. Uh, right. Left. And this is it. Okay, yeah. The old-fashioned way being, I, I just try until I uh, figure it out by random guessing. You have a 50-50 chance of guessing it correct. I found the treasure! Woo! Who's that? Is it Ranger Shanahan? So you're the one behind all of this. <laughs> Guilty as charged. I've been looking for the treasure. Being the park ranger makes it almost too easy to cover my tracks. No one thinks twice if they see me wandering up to do park maintenance. But this is a big mountain. You can only dig so many holes before you start to get purple tunnel. In all my nights of hard work, I never found anything. I was about to believe the treasure didn't exist. That is until your friend found that anchor. I'm lucky she came to talk to me about it instead of the police. Another perk of being park ranger, I suppose, is that I'm to be notified of anything unusual found on park lands. But why did you have to kidnap her? She had nothing to do with this. Unfortunate, really. I'm not much of a thinking man, but your friend has quite a bit of knowledge about the area. I figured if anyone could solve that riddle, she could. And then I could stop digging and we'd both be wealthy. I didn't want to hurt her, honest. She just could have helped me find the treasure and we wouldn't be in this mess. I offered to split it with her even, but she wouldn't tell me anything about the clue she found. If we had the sword and the anchor, we were so close. And instead of helping, she threatened to go to the police instead and tell them what we'd been doing. Did you put that sword in my room? That was my business associate. Been calling in some favors at the inn. A great criminal mastermind can't work alone. It all paid off because now Aaron and I will both be rich. Ah, he's been working with Aaron. Ha ha ha. You're not getting a hold of this treasure. Sorry, but you're wrong. The time to play Mr. Nice Guy is over. Mr. Nice Guy, you think you've been nice so far, kidnapper? You found what I've been looking for and now I can't let you or Amelia or anybody else stand in my way. Oh jeez. Okay, what do we do to stop Ranger Shanahan? Um, shovel to the head? No, tie him up. Shovel to the head? Oh, no, he got me. Okay, shovel to the head. Ow! Oh, jeez. Tie him up. You're not going anywhere. Okay, good job. Yes! I was able to keep Ranger Shanahan from getting away long enough for the police to arrive. He and his accomplice will be getting what they deserve by spending a long time behind bars. Grace's treasure was returned to the National Museum of Ireland, and her sword and compass were returned to the Sligo History Museum. Amelia was able to finish her book on time, and then she decided to take some time off. After everything she's been through, she'll probably be off somewhere sunny and warm for a while. Finn started a local open mic night, giving himself a platform to try out his jokes. If he gets good enough, maybe his comedy career will take him all the way to Dublin. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. The discovery of treasure in Sligo brought many more tourists to town, and Seror Seoris decided to start her own fairy tours. She made me promise to come visit again so I could go on a tour. Thanks for playing! We hope you enjoyed this game. If you do, please leave a review for the game, subscribe to their email list, visit their website. 
I probably shouldn't say there, as I understand it, this game was made by one person. She made her own video game during the 2020 coronavirus quarantine. Hey, what else are you gonna do when you're stuck at home for three months? Make an awesome video game! So that's it for Marcella Moon's Secret on the Hill. I hope you enjoyed watching my video walkthrough.